What up, Otaku Nation? It's Oda King Live coming at you again for another Pickups of the Week episode. And as you probably already know, this is going to be a huge anime figure haul episode. Um, also, uh, it's my first time going to be using this little, uh, little bouncy, uh, uh, you know, camera holder that I got attached to the table here. So we'll see how uh, well this works and see if it kind of helps with the, uh, you know, some of the bounce and the shake. So uh, let's get started. Uh, pretty much the other day I uh, saw a yard sale ad and it actually mentioned lots of anime figures. Um, possibly the first time I've ever seen that for in a yard sale ad. So we went out there quite early and uh, amazingly enough there was a ton of people there and a few people already buying figures so I was get the hell out of my way and there was a ton of figures here I'm talking you know a good solid almost 50 say and uh let's just say the prices were right and uh the guy was awesome and I bought a good amount so uh let's get started uh first off we got uh, one of the side characters from XL Saga uh in her uh you know transformed uh state here as you can tell she's holding menchi and uh that was probably i believe the first one i picked out so let's uh just get moving right along all right next up we got well one of the characters from what was it heaven's lost property uh really enjoy this character i think she looks really good let's uh let's Make her, make her down there a bit. There we go. And uh, I think she's just sweet looking. I love her base and everything. And uh, had to have her. Next. We got from Gurren Lagan. It is the, you know, princess, space princess chick. Um, really awesome figure here. I really love the base that she's on. Not to mention it has the little star things, uh, you know, sticking out. Uh, only thing I hate to the extreme is her cheesy hat that she has on here. But uh, everything else about her figure is just wicked. Um, so really happy with her. Let's see if I can find a place for her. All right, next up, let's do a let's do one of the smaller figures here. It is little tiny squid girl. Uh, one of the smaller figs, but still really, really, uh, really good looking and, um, you know, just a standard base, but, uh, really quality and, um, that's what you look for in your figures. So I was really happy with her since, uh, it's such a good show. Next up, let's just, ah, heck, let's throw her out here first. Hello from Spice and Wolf. Uh, her base is a felt base, which is really cool. Uh, it's just her standard type dress uniform that she has on here. And uh, I think she looks really good. And next, let's just stick Hollow back here. If I can get her to stay. There we go. All right, this one is heavy. Oh. Dream Eater Mary. Uh, he actually had two of Dream Eater here, uh, Mary, and uh, one of the dudes that was there ended up buying the other one just bef you know, before I could get to deciding which one I wanted, because they were both slightly different, and I wasn't sure which one I wanted more, and then dude bought one, so I was like, well, I guess that made my decision a little easier, because now there's only this one left. Oh gosh, try to be careful here, I don't want to break one on film. Okay, who do we got next? Well, I'll just throw him in there real quick. It's, he's just, uh, he was on the, actually, you know what? I'll save the cheap table for last. All right, next one's a combining set. Probably going to move the camera back for these two. Uh, let's see if I can get them to stick together there. I don't know. Okay, it is the girls from a Railgun. Uh, 
don't remember their names right now because it's you no, know, even hasn't been that long since I watched the show. But uh, it's the two roommates there and um, Railgun herself. And uh, it's when they're working at the uh, the cafe or the restaurant or whatever, so they're in their uniforms. Uh, that was was a bit of a package deal, and uh, these are the two biggest of the figures that I got. So I'm really happy with those. So let's try to get these back. All right, and then I got a little a figma of uh, I think it's can coal. I think. Oh, good God, where'd her leg go? Um, oh, there it is. And then of course her little, uh, little happy cannon and her leg, I think just fell on the floor. That's super. All right. And then, uh, we got just a little freestanding mega XL here. Uh, just a basic, uh, basic one. One of the cheap ones. I think I paid five bucks for her. All right. Now we're going to get into the the cheap table figures, and this is where it's really going to get interesting, because these cheap, cheap figures are pretty amazing. So, we got uh, Sashamaru from Inuyasha. I know he's holding like a beam saber from Gundam, but I just threw that in there. He looks amazing. I love, I really love the felt and everything. It's, he's awesome. No Inuyasha though, but whatever, you take what you can get. Oh god. And then uh, we got some... Gundam units. Really impressive looking Gundam units. Uh, not sure what unit this is, but he's wicked looking. Really happy with him. And the other Gundam unit that I got is, uh, you know, Master, whatever his name is, from G Gundam Fighter. His one wing is broken off. I have, at least I think it's... Uh, you know, the master, or whatever his name is. Um, I have the wing, but as you can tell, it's busted right there. So I just got to get the old super glue out and get the super glue in. So uh, that's why he was on the cheap table, because his wing was broken. And then, and this is the one I'm really glad I got. Macross unit. What is it? It's the YF something, U14, I think. I'm not sure. But uh, has the cannon and everything, so that is really good. Uh, to my knowledge, I don't see any broken pieces, so I'm super happy with that. As a love Robotech, and then we're oh geez, this back end just fell off. I get this stuck back on here. One of the Eva Unit Series Nine. Who even stands? As you can tell, his other wings broken off too, which was why he was on the cheap table. But again, I do have the wing. So all I gotta do is uh, get the old super glue out and get to gluing. Asuka and her uh, my red unit here. Although, let's see if I can get her to stand. Again, uh, oh well, she'll be behind his wing from the cheap table. You know what? I'll just put him down. Where do I put him? There we go. And even though his head fell off, it's unit, I think it was a five. I'm not sure. His head's around here somewhere. I don't know where it went. I'm just going to go through some of these Evas pretty fast because there's a few of them. There's the uh, prototype uh, gold one or whatever. And then we got Ray's unit, the bl blue one. She's missing her arm. I got it again though, but it's somewhere now this uh shinji unit unfortunately is legitly missing his head i i looked everywhere i looked all through the parts he got me but i can't find his head oh well he can be headless there's one of the big ass guns that they use and then i can't remember the first angel's name i can never remember it but i think that is sick no idea i don't think anything's missing on him either but uh, just amazing. Love the detail on that one. And we're just trucking along here still. Although I think we're running out of uh, yeah, running out of anime figures. So we're gonna go down to a couple game ones that he had. So these are actually from uh, the you know 360 game Lost Planet. I think that one's pretty cool. Woo! And then. 
another Lost Planet one, which is this badass mech here. Sweet. And then, or the last one here is a, um, oh, from uh, that really long running robot series that I can't remember the name of right now. He's, uh, he's missing the one rocket launcher off his, off his arm, but outside of that, he's complete. And that's about it. I got, uh, I got a whole bunch more of like weapons and everything else associated with them. And then I did pick up a few Final Fantasy characters off the cheap table just for fun. So pretty much, uh, as you can tell, that was a serious lot whole thing hundred dollars if you can believe it one hundred dollars um at a convention you know you'd pay a hundred dollars for what maybe three of these uh so i was super stoked he had a bunch more for sale but a hundred bucks is pretty much all i had on me so um he we exchanged numbers and um i'll be going back uh, for more no doubt so I'm super excited uh, for the next ones he sells because he says he's got a whole room full and uh, he'll be going through and getting rid of a few more. So I can't wait. So hey, well, leave a like if you liked any of these figures. Uh, leave a comment below on any figures that you picked up recently. And I'll uh, see you later. Peace.